You'll notice that the design for this particular cover requires a circular type object behind the image of Lewis Hamilton. So we'll take a look at that in this exercise. I'll pick up my zoom tool and zoom into that region so we can see it nice and clearly. Hold down the space bar to pan. Uh, I am going to turn off the grids and guides just for the moment so they don't get in the way. I'll switch to my selection tool. I'm going to hover over and left click on that image of Lewis Hamilton. Now, I don't want to lock all of the images because I want to put the circle in that same parent layer. But what I can do is with it selected is go up to the object menu and choose lock. It's not immediately obvious, but if I do press the W key just to temporarily go back to normal editing mode, there is a padlock now. So it's possible to just lock one item at a time rather than everything in one layer. If I press the W key once more, we need to head over to the tools panel and then just make sure that we pick up the ellipse tool. So if it's not the tool that's visible, probably the rectangle tool, click and hold on that and click on ellipse. We need to characterize the colors first. So at the top in the control panel, I'm going to make sure that it's set to electric blue for the fill color. That's going to be the color on the inside of the circle. Hit the return key to make the pop-up disappear. We don't need a stroke, so there doesn't need to be a border around this circle. So we'll choose none from the list in there to remove the color and then press return. Now the dimensions for this, all that we have to do is to hover our cursor over the image window and left click and let go. So do not drag when you are clicking with the mouse in this specific scenario just left click and let go. That will load up the ellipse dialog box and you can then define the width and height. It is possible to drag it out, but this is going to be a bit more precise. So this needs to be 32 millimeters. Hit the tab key and type in 32 for the height as well. And then you can click OK. Once it appears, I'll switch to my selection tool, hover over that circle. Now my cursor reveals the transform mode and I can click and drag and I can move that just to the side and then I'll click off the edge of the page to deselect. We don't need all of that circle visible, only a portion of it, and it needs to be behind the image of Lewis Hamilton. This time I'm gonna press the W key to go back into normal editing mode. Don't forget you can always go to the view menu and go to screen mode and find that from there. And then I'm going to switch to my frame tool, so my rectangular frame tool, just above where we've been using the ellipse Click on that to make it active. I'm going to hover my cursor at the very top right corner of that blue box. Click and hold down the mouse, keep it held down and drag across up to the same level as the width of the far side of the Lewis Hamilton image, but all the way down until you reach the white line and then release the left mouse button. That creates a placeholder frame. We can then switch back to our selection tool. You can click away from that placeholder frame, hover over your circle and left click on it and then go to edit and choose cut. I know it feels like the wrong thing to do, but that's what we have to do in this scenario. Then hover your selection tool over our placeholder frame we've just made, left click and go up to the edit menu and choose paste into and it'll put that right in the middle of our box. Of course, that's not what we want it to look like. So hover your cursor over that portion where we have the content grabber, left click and that will select the circle and then you can click and drag and move this upwards just like so. And then click away and that will deselect. And that is how we can achieve having just a portion of that circle visible in the layout, but not all of it. We've pasted it into a frame. Now we need to arrange this correctly. So to do that, I'm going to click and drag and pull the layers panel out, extend the length down at the bottom and go next to the toggle for the word images to expand it open. So all of our images start in a parent layer called images and everything underneath indented to the right hand side ever so slightly is what's classed as a child layer. Notice that the thing that we've just made is called a graphic frame. And if I click on that with the mouse, you can click and drag and pull that lower down 
until you see the black line appear underneath the item called lhamilton.psd. And by releasing the left mouse button here, it puts it behind. So you can rearrange the order of any of these items in the layers panel. Here we're just looking at content for the images, but you'll notice that how anything that appears higher up in the list will appear potentially in front of one another if they share the same space in the layout. And by moving our circle lower down underneath the image of Lewis Hamilton, it's now behind. You can then go back up, collapse that, drag that back up, and then dock it to the top up there. And it doesn't need quite so much room as that. Click away and go to view, fit page in window and press the W key. 